Hello, this is Bridget Rao with Divine Essentials. Hi guys, how are you? Alright, so I was going back and forth on who I was going to record for, and I think I will do Scorpio. We'll do Scorpio. I think we had the most requests for Scorpio. Okay. Um, and I also wanted to say thank you to Kristen. I'm not sure if she'll see this reading, but she has sent me a couple books. And it was funny because ever since I went to this place called Quan's near my house, um, I've been hearing Quan Yin, Quan Yin, Quan Yin. And now I've got the Pleiadian workbook, which um, Amora Quan Yin has written. And she sent me the four insights. So um, in case she sees this, thank you. And she's also sent the secret language of color cards. But she says, hi, Bridget. This looks like a cool deck off of your wish list. Color is the spice of life. So enjoy, beautiful soul. Love and light, Kristen. So thank you very much, Kristen, if you're listening. She also sent um, this deck, this uh, circle deck. It's uh, Circle Life Tarot. Um, so I also have another one over there that she sent me. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use these ones because these ones are new. So who did I say? Scorpio? Shit. Who did I say? Scorpio. <laughs> We're doing Scorpio. All right. So Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. You can have this placement in your um, Venus as well, or you could be a cross watcher for somebody with those placements. So let's just get, you know what? I will grab the other deck because that's how I've been doing these. And I feel like I should just stick with the theme. So these are Lenormand cards, but um, I don't use them like the traditional way. So she got me the gilded Lenormand reverie. Um, and it's funny because the other night I did a reading for Pisces. And I did, her, did Pisces because she's the one, she you know sends all these things. So she requested Pisces, so I did Pisces. And flowers came out. And then the next day I went on Facebook and she received flowers. So it was pretty cool confirmation. Oh, shit. I have one of these guys mixed in there. I wonder what it is. Message. Holy shit. That's awesome. All right. So um, almost everybody has been getting these cards of messages. Um, and, you know, I find that to happen with no matter what we're doing, because the energies go across all the signs. No matter what sign you are, energies are going to come in for that sign. So there's been a lot of um, messages type of information coming through recently. Oh, and you got the little swans. I don't know what it means, but you got it. And I guess a cuckoo clock? Maybe somebody's crazy for you, and they want to send you a message. All right, so we'll start with number seven. Um, like I said, I'm getting used to this deck, so I don't know. I, I do know number seven is about messages. What the hell? Oh, but it's from this deck. I'm like, it says snakes. What? All right, let me get this book. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, okay. So we're using all of these decks. i got to remember for when I do the... All the decks that I use, I always put down underneath as well. All right, number seven, message. The original connotation of this card is a pleasant message. It's generally good news, unless with challenging cards. Below you, it may also be something you're in denial about or refusing to hear. Here we see a writing desk with a, lo a lovely antique brass phone, a fountain pen, and a heavy crystal inkwell. All right, so basically it's about good um, communication, unless one of these cards is negative, but it doesn't look like it is. So... It can be all types of communication, letters, texts, notes, memos, phone calls, voice messages, all of that. And um, you know what? It's coming into my head like three to five days because whenever we mail something, it's like three to five days. So um, that's how it used to be anyways. You may be hearing some sort of message within three to five days. That's just what Spirit's telling me. I don't know why it's coming in that way, but it is. So number 24 is heart. Aww. The form of happiness and love is simply drawn in my shape. I am your feelings and emotions. I am your passions and devotions. Just make sure no bad cards are around to spoil this fondness and affection. Oh boy, let's hope that number 37 is good. <laughs> so let's see what number 37 is. I'm going to say they're cuckoo for you, but let's see. Time, okay. 
Um, my appearance brings time to the forefront of importance. I may be approaching or passing, so be attentive. Use me wisely to provide perspective. Look around me to better understand my involvement. Certain cards may slow me down, but sometimes a quick action will get you the crown. All right, so like I was saying, three to five days, and there was no reason for me to say that. I feel like somebody feels the pressure to communicate with you, somebody that you have their heart. Okay, so um, definitely some sort of communications wanting to come through. Now, my intention for these readings has been like, what aren't they telling you, um, you know, like about their feelings, their emotions and things like that. So what I'm picking up here is that this person really does um, care about you. You know, they, they see you as their heart. They have you in their heart and they may want to reach out to you rather quickly. They feel like time is of the essence. So maybe something's been going on in their life or something's been going on in your life. And it's like, oh boy, if I don't, if I don't do something soon, I ain't going to have time to do it at all, okay? All right, so let's get into it. We're going to see, we'll use the circle deck first just to see like what's going on in this person's head when it comes to them thinking about you. Um, oh, we get the star and the six of wands. So they may be wishing at this time, they could even have you on a pedestal. So we know the star can indicate like actual stardom, star seeds. It's like having somebody up on a pedestal, seeing them um, in their light, seeing somebody like very, very beautiful or, you know, enchanting has the attention of a lot of people. Six of wands is about like victory. Okay, so this person could have you up on that pedestal. They could be seeing you as victorious. So when they're thinking about you, they're not letting on to the fact that like, wow, you know, this person has my heart. I'm feeling that could be why they're feeling this time crunch too about messaging you is maybe they feel like the more you rise up, the harder it's going to get for them to reach out to you. It's almost like you're you're rising too far from me. I can't I can't get you. I want to get you before you're gone. We also have the devil coming through, which I've been feeling a lot of that sexual energy. So this could be just like a really um, strong, passionate desire to connect with you in that way. There could be a karmic involved. And we also have judgment coming through. So this is a card of reconciliation. I I'm picking up that this person has been wishing to have some sort of, you know, victory with you. They could be wanting to get rid of uh, a karmic partner or karmic whatever you know they could be like having some addictions or they could have some false beliefs oh we have the the knight of wands so this could have been somebody that came in and out of your life kind of was a player um you know they could have been seeing other people multiple people they could have really hurt your heart and they may feel like you're getting over them okay you're moving on you're no longer like bound to this like you once were you could really just be focusing on yourself. So this like crunch is coming in now. This judgment's coming in. It's like if I don't, um, you know, reach out and say something, this person may just completely forget about me and rise up into a whole new way. It feels like you're healing, you're rising, you're really doing, you know, a lot of self growth, and you're probably leaving behind any karmic stuff you've had going on. They, I'm also picking up for some of them. They may think that you have like a karmic partner. Like they could be thinking whoever or whatever you're dealing with is not good enough for you, especially if they have you on that pedestal, they'd be like, well, you deserve better than that. You know, they may, um, they could be a little jealousy tapped into this devil energy. You know, the devil energy can be all types of things. It, it doesn't have to just be, you know, a person. It can be a feeling. It can be an emotion. I also have the Hierophant here with the Ace of Swords. So this person may really want to reach out to you and communicate that they're wanting to have a new beginning we got the four of wands too. Wow. So this person's thinking about, maybe they're thinking about settling down. I mean, the four of wands and the higher font, those are both cards of marriage and commitment. Four of wands is also um, considered by people twin flame 1111 union. So they may want to communicate with you about taking a next level of commitment towards you, whatever that means. So for some of you, it could just mean, hey, we're going to start talking on the regular. For others, it could mean, you know, we're going to go from dating to being engaged. And for others, you know, we're going from dating to moving in together or from moving in together to getting married. Okay, so wherever you're at, that's like what they're thinking about. They're taking that next level commitment. And they, I also feel like they're thinking about taking the next level commitment on themselves. Like, I don't want to deal with this toxic behavior anymore. I want to commit to myself to have a union within myself to get rid of this um, self-sabotaging behavior that they may have once been all mixed up within. So let's see what they're feeling that they're not letting you know. 
Oh, we got the lovers. So they definitely have a very strong bond with you. This could be soulmate, twin flame, divine counterpart, however you want to label it. They they feel like you're their person. They feel like you're their destiny. We have the, the um, Wheel of Fortune coming out here too. So it's like you've been destined to come into this person's life. They are definitely feeling like this pressure. I feel like they're trying to make a decision about reaching out to you. Or how am I going to reach out to them? How am I going to send this message? Because the Two of Swords is somebody that is just going back and forth in their mind. And we also have the Queen of Wands. So like I said, that sexual passion is strong. So they're very sexually attracted to you. They may be having indecisiveness, trying to figure out if you're still single. If you've been kind of going out and having fun and doing things, they could feel like you've emotionally withdrawn with this Eight of Cups and that you're kind of exploring the field. You're out and about. You know, the Queen of Wands um, can sometimes be seen as somebody that's... She's sexy. She's passionate. She's, she's you know, um, she can be seen as playing the field just like the Knight of Wands can be seen in that energy. Um, but she's also, like, magical. She's a, she's a ritual maker. She's, you know, tapped into spirit. She's very... Um, like ambitious, she's a go-getter, she's manifesting, and we do have the Ace of Cups here, so they could feel like you have a new beginning in love, followed by the Fool, they could feel like you're taking a leap of faith somewhere else, but I'm also feeling like this is them wanting to take that leap of faith towards you for a new beginning in love, so that they can rush back into your life for the Ten of Pentacles, so some of them really, I sense, have changed, they want to give you a Two of Cups type of commitment, soulmate, twin flame, um, they know that you're somebody significant, and, and I just sense that they don't want to lose you to somebody else. Um, there's a lot of anxiety here. They're feeling like they could be having issues um, sleeping. They could have issues just like their head. They're not really sure what they're thinking at this time. They're not sure what you're thinking. And we do have the three um, empress. So they're seeing you, you know, rising, being fertile, creative, giving birth to things. You know, the, the empress is the one that you make your woman or um, if you're a man, you know, you make your man. You can take this as emperor energy, but it's basically somebody that knows their value, knows their worth, is balanced in their emotion, is creative, somebody that's going after their passion, could be like an entrepreneur, um, you know, self-love, all of that. She's got it in the bag and it's funny because she's holding a bag behind her. And I feel like a lot of you, they could be seeing a lot of themselves in you, too, because they got the mirror there. So it's like you mirror something to this person that I feel like for sometimes it triggers them and other times it allures them. So it's like that, you know, intensity of this connection is it goes back and forth for them. So let's see, um, you know, what are they what do they want with you at this time? And then I'm going to go deeper into this on Vimeo. We're going to find out what aren't they telling you. Um, you know, we'll see what they're wanting to say specifically. And then um, what might happen over the next four weeks and then the final outcome. So we have the Knight of Swords. So what they want is to rush in with that communication, okay? They're wanting to rush, okay? They feel the time crunch with it. Makes sense here. They want this Queen of Pentacles. They want somebody that's valuable, somebody that's grounded, committed, um, solid okay they want this solid person in their life i sense a lot of them feel like they've been left out in the cold some of them could have some issues with finances with the five of pentacles that's about poverty and being left out in the cold others it could just be their their value and their worth on themselves they may want to rush in they may feel that time crunch but they may be insecure about it they may feel like they they don't have the right offer yet or they don't feel good enough about themselves to make that offer yet but i do sense you know, they really do want to rush in to say something to you. What else do they want with you? What does this person want with you? My Scorpio. <laughs> do I keep forgetting? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What do they want with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Or their cross watcher. What do they want? What do they want? What do they want? Oh, they want the Ten of Cups. They want emotional fulfillment with you. So on the bottom here, we do have the Six of Swords. They, they don't want to be in these troubles anymore. They don't want to have the anxiety anymore. They don't want to have the emotional disturbance anymore. They want to have passion. They, they want to be your King of Wands, okay? So a lot of them, whoever you were dealing with in the past, if they brought in a lot of tower moments and bullshit, I feel like they're ready to work with you now to build something more solid, more stable. Three of Pentacles is about building something together to make something strong. And we do have the Emperor here. So this is the perfect match to the Empress. 
They want to be your emperor or empress. They want to work together with you. They want to like reestablish whatever has been destroyed here. I do sense some of them are afraid that you may say no to them with the Queen of Swords here. But it's like they want the sunlight back in their life. I feel like you've been healing to this person. You've brought this person some sort of light in, back into their life. You know, you illuminated something inside of them. I think you made them feel a certain way. And that's making them really want to reconcile with you with the Six of Cups. Okay? So this person really does, um, you know, feel a strong bond with you. Feels like they want to rush in before they lose you. So, um... What I'm going to do is go over to Vimeo and just see what they want to say to you specifically and then um, what they're going to do about this, these feelings. Are they going to take action over these next couple of weeks? I will check on the three to five days too to see if you know some of you are going to get communication that quickly. And then um, you know where is this all headed? You know We'll see where it's all going in, in the end. Okay. So if you want to join me over there, the link will be down below. If not, thank you very much for joining me this far. Oh, you know what? Let me get you guys a color. What color would be beneficial to this connection? And then I will go over to Vimeo. What color do you all need at this time? Like, what energy is coming in? These are hard to shuffle. Um, oh, somebody had shuffled them this way. Okay. Let's see. 29. Gray. Learn to scan your body. All right. So I feel like you guys may not even, like, you guys may not even have a clue that this person gives a shit. You add up 29, it's number 11. So a lot of you could be dealing with like a twin flame that you feel like it's just been dark. It's been gloomy. It's been gray. You need to scan your body for energy imbalances. And I really feel like you need to get out of that energy of feeling down and out. Yeah, you need green. You need to get outside and revitalize. You need to open your heart back up. Get out into nature. Um, we just had the summer solstice. So it's like the first day of summer now. Sun's coming in. It's a perfect opportunity for like love to blossom. It's a perfect opportunity for things to get going um, in your life. You know, to fill the to fill the gray skies up with the with the green and the the happiness back into your heart. It says allow flow and synchronicity into your life. So I feel like a lot of you guys could be blocking things off when it comes to this. So that's maybe why this person's being held back too. They may sense that when it comes to this relationship, you're afraid of them or you're just like done with it. You're, you're over being hurt. And we also have live an extraordinary life. So this person is seeing you in an extraordinary energy. You need to see yourself in that. So if you've been feeling down or kind of out and blah, just know there's a lot of stuff going on energetically. We've got a lot of planets in retrograde. Um... You know, the, the solstice was here. We have eclipses coming up. We had the full moon. We got the new moon. We got everything is always, it's always going to be like this. They're always going to have tons of shit going on. But it's the way that you like scan yourself. It's the way that you take care of yourself. I had felt like shit earlier. I stayed in my bed. I woke, I went to bed yesterday at 8 a.m. And I slept till 4. I woke up for a few hours, went back to sleep by 8. I had to cancel stuff. And then I slept until like, 11 today and then I got up for a little bit went back to sleep and slept till after three and then I forced myself to do all my private readings tonight and here I am and I'm going back to bed probably for a while so um you know take time out rest and refuel but just know that the energy has been heavy it has been difficult but you know like halfway through the the night tonight I was like I have to get myself out of this so it's a matter of how you feel and what you're thinking get yourself out of that vibration get into the shower do a salt scrub you know do some energy balancing on yourself do what you got to do to get out of the vibration of feeling icky and if you have been feeling good just ride that wave and just know that like you're grounding you know this extraordinary energy into your world and I do feel like it's impacting your relationships you got a lot of um, sacral energy here so you're grounding your relationship into a more nurturing like like vibration, synchronicity is coming in, nurturing yourself is really going to help your relationship with yourself and this person, okay, so just get outside, get out of the gray, get out of the blue, blah, blah, and just all oh, look, be spontaneous and have fun, so if this person does reach out to you and you're afraid like they're going to hurt you, just trust your intuition, like if they come in like a player, they're probably playing, but if they come in and they're not playing, then, you know, ha have some fun, take a risk, but you know, trust your intuition first and foremost. But like I said, I'm going to go over to Vimeo and find out, you know, we'll figure out what their intention is too. Like, do they, it does seem like this person really does care and wants to have something positive with you. Um, but there's a lot of you guys out there. So it'd be good to know that, you know, what's going on. So I'll, t I'll dive in and make sure that this person, if they show up in three to five days, they're not going to just um, 
rush back out okay so thank you thank you thank you again Kristen, for all of these amazing gifts you are awesome sauce and thank you to all of you for liking commenting and subscribing everything that you need to know is down below in mune namaste